All right, there we go. Think I'm live now, maybe, hopefully, pro YouTuber, maybe, a little bit, kinda, somewhat, almost. Yeah, if y'all could let me know, assume, I think I'm live, pretty sure, but it'd be nice to be 100% sure. Yeah, there we go. All right, give me one second and we'll go on. I just put a link up in Discord. All right, there we go. Oh god. I'm live now, maybe, hopefully. Y'all can hear me. Pro YouTuber. Maybe. Oh god. A little bit. Oh god. Kinda. All right. We stopped the feedback loop. Oh my god, I hadn't even noticed that they included the, the cat here. That's that's actually really cute. Alright, so let's get into it. Gonna be playing the new update six. Hey friend. Welcome back. Alright, so update six brought custom difficulty. So previously this was the hardest mode, survival and hard. But now you can customize it and make everything a lot worse. So the actual event strength multiplier, which is how many enemies show up, is the same. But just as an example, now they have twice as many hit points. And it's not just raids that are a lot harder. Um, you're going to take worse wounds. There's going to be fewer animals on the map. You're going to get fewer, uh, tr less wood and fewer yield, lower yield from your crops. Wards are hard. Less from mining, your mood's gonna start a lot lower, your hit points recovery, normally you'd heal off about, about a full health bar in a day, now it's gonna take a full season, food's gonna rot 500% faster, and by default it's like 3 days after you harvest, so now you have, you know, 12-16 hours to harvest food, uh, stuff's gonna de uh, decompose fast, you're gonna get fewer, uh, less money for what you sell, hunting's gonna be more dangerous, and this is the biggest one. Global work speed is normally 100%. This is how fast you do everything in the game. Now it's 10%. So basically anything that would have taken one day before now takes 10. For example, and the research tree that takes, you know, a thousand books, it's as if everything took 10 times as much research. So 10,000 books. And uh, that's going to make things hard. I'm going to turn off a couple of these that don't actually affect anything, just because they make uh, seeing things a little bit harder. Uh, and other than that, we're going to get going. Hello, everyone. Nice to see some familiar faces. So I think that I'm going to lose horribly. And after I do, I'm going to change global work speed. But we're going to give this a go. And for this, we're going to need a new starting condition. Oh, I can't even... Why? There we go. That's... Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so we are going to start in spring. And basically, in previous challenges, like the impossible run, I made everyone as bad as possible. Here I'm actually going to do the opposite. I'm going to set this up to give me the highest chance of success without just starting myself off with every possible bit of gear. So I'm going to make everyone the same religion, for example. I'm going to give everyone some clothes. Uh, we're going to start with a couple weapons because I honestly don't think I'll be able to research weapons before uh, the first raid show up. So let's see, a wooden spear. And then... Two longbows. Alright. Uh, and then some armor. We'll go no helmet, but we'll get at least some leather armor. Alright. 
Yeah, I hope you all are enjoying your Saturday. Sorry, I'm talking a lot as I set this up. That's not all we're going to do, which actually, shoot, I should have done more research to make sure I got this right. Um, I'm not going to start myself with any resources, except for some seeds. Uh, cabbage seed. Let's see. I'm going to start myself off with some seeds, just so I'm not waiting for traders on that. But honestly, that's 25 blue books in, which is 250, so I'm not even going to be able to start that in for like the first season. Uh, no more equipment, no structure kits, settler constraints. This is how you min-max in this game, which is basically a requirement to survive. So, let me bring up the wiki so I can make sure I actually get all the right perks. Basically, this is going to force every single one of my settlers, both those I start out with and those that arrive, to have certain perks. And I'm going to need some of these to be really good just to survive, have any chance of surviving. So the first one I'm going to go for is Brawny, and I'll go through what all of these are um, as I get to the next page. Second one I need is... Eridite. And basically, as long as I start with these and within and within the uh, starting points range that it allows, I'm I'm considering that fair game. Uh, fleet footed. Green Thumb is really good, but I'm not going to actually go for it here because I don't need everyone to have it. Uh, Industrious. Robust. Whirlwind. Yeah, I definitely should have gotten a list of what I wanted beforehand. Whoops. I was a little busy. I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV, and a friend showed me uh, all the glamour and housing options, and I literally spent all morning doing that. Alright, I also need Congenial. There, and... Outgoing. Alright. I think that's it. Gonna make those guaranteed on all my settlers. And so I think these are all the strongest perks in the game. Oh nice. I hope you enjoy Belgium. And yes, we're gonna start with a couple of animals as well. So, we've got a cat. We've got a dog. We're going to start with two goats. Which is admittedly quite a few, but it's not very different than the default start. Uh, goat. Um, young, domestic, domestic. I'm going to start them all as domestic. Let's see. Am I forgetting anything that y'all see? Must start. <laughs> Forgot what I'd named it in that short a time. All right, let's see. Right, because yeah, they, basically we're just adding an extra dog to what we start with. And then other than that, I am just giving them amazing perks because I need to. I'm gonna set I. Oh, that's not it. Um. I rolled a couple maps yesterday, just to see uh one with like a interesting start. Yes, uh, I'm starting with three settlers. 
Uh, I might need to start with food. Actually, yeah, let's... We'll start them with, like, three meals. Oops. Just in case. Again, it may literally take too long for me to get my first meals going. Uh, resources, packaged meal. Three of them. Just three. Uh, I could go for two of each to breed, but honestly, I do not expect to be alive long enough that that is an issue. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the set seed, which I rolled a few, and this one looked interesting, so we're going with that. So, all these perks. Brawny is an amazing perk. 25% move speed, 25% work speed. Erudite is 30% experience gain. Outgoing is mood. Congenial is also mood. Whirlwind is move speed and motor function. Robust is motor function. Industrious is work speed. Fleet-footed is movement speed and motor function. So this will partially negate the 10% default work speed and basically get them up to only being about a third as bad as a regular colonist. All right, let's see. So, yeah, I'm I'm a little over the group creation points, but I'll get that back down. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else that I need here. But actually, appetite would be really good. I might go add that. Because that's basically how much food they need. Um, fair for the uh, bargain duration would be nice, but I don't plan to be bargaining that much since I only sell things for 10% of their value by default. All right, we're going to go add the appetite perk. And that's it. So we're going to add austere. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, add condition, settler, forced, austere, 100. All right, we're going to be going on medium and on this thing, on the seed. All right, that should be... Ah, uh, yes, I see they're already used to starving themselves, which is good preparation for today. All right, uh, uh, okay, no. So let's see. I'm additionally gonna have one with green thumb. Green thumb is amazing. It just increases your harvest amount by 35%, which when your default is 50%, you really want. So now I need to cut a hundred group creation points, which shouldn't be that hard. I'm gonna, again, min max this a little bit, but more importantly, I need to name my colonists. So, Joe, John, and Johnson. And that's very important. Uh, it'll come up later. All right, so what are we doing? Start off by getting everyone down to the bare minimum. And so... Starting with all these perks is going to be a sort of a problem because, as you can see, I'm not really going to have very many points for actual skills. New colonists will be slightly better at that because they will have all the perks, but it doesn't cost them points, so they'll still just have good skills. But what they give us is random. So, Joe is going to be doing a lot of botany. I think with a 10% orc speed, he's going to be basically planting full-time. So, we're going to give him... Uh, Passions are basically way cheaper than skills, but we're still going to give them some skill. All right, John. We're going to want to train those animals up pretty fast, and after that, honey will be really good, since global work speed I don't think affects honey production as much. Uh, and we're going to want to tame animals and train animals and stuff like that. He's not going to be doing that full-time, though, so let's give him another full-time job, and in this case, it's going to be construction. All right, Johnson. Johnson, to me, has always struck me as a researcher. Um, it's just a very researchy name. So we're going to give him that. And I normally wouldn't actually go with two stars of passion for a lot of this stuff. But with 10% work speed, they finish their little work that they actually need two stars of passion to cap experience. Now, with no extra skills, I'm already pretty... Uh, 
pretty close to my group creation point cap. And obviously, you know, I need some stuff. I need culinary of at least 13. Um, and the reason is that 13 culinary is sort of a break point. Before that, you get three meals per cooking, and after that, you get four. So this is basically going, making my food last a lot longer. I'm going to need some combat skills. So, you know, John, as a researcher, has always preferred a spear in his hands. Um, John and Joe are a little bit more, uh, you know, they, they, they prefer to keep things at a distance. But they've always competed. Their archery skills are very comparable because they have always competed with each other. Medicine is kind of a useless stat, honestly. Uh, mining. I am going to need some mining, but not early, so it's not a priority. Smithing, same thing. Tailoring, same thing. I think if I do want anything else, it's going to be carpentry. And, um, yeah, we'll have John on that. Yes, I am recording, although I did start late. All right, we got the first spam bot. Port. Yep, all right, there we go, reported, should be gone. You know, that's how you know you've made it, is, uh, you know, spam bots come to your channel. All right, so let's see, a little bit of mining couldn't hurt. And a little bit of... See, I think that's good. I don't know what else I would want. So in that case, I'm just going to bump their combat sets a little bit. Because, oh gosh, are they going to need it. Alright, I think that's good. Uh, I don't have any miners, smiths, or tailors, uh, or medical workers, but honestly, those are overrated. Who needs medicine when your wounds recover so goddamn slowly? Alright, um, let's get going. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Does anyone see that I'm forgetting something that is horrible and I'm about to die? All right. Just waiting this to for the stream to catch up. Y'all are gonna say something and then uh Yeah, alright. I think I'm good. Alright, let's go. I gave them three meals. And I can't imagine that I mean they you know, they shouldn't need to eat more than once every like two or three seasons, right? Hopefully, kind of, maybe. All right. So, brief tour of the map. This sort of has a, uh, a sort of peninsula we start on. There's, you know, stairs up here as well as some over here. But basically, there's only this sort of one, other than that, there's only really this one entrance over here in. And even that has like three little entrances. And then on this side, again, there's only really this one entrance right here. It's a little hard to see with trees. Um, actually, is there no entrance here? I thought there was one entrance here. Oh, I'm crazy. Okay, so there's no entrances over here. So basically, after I mine out these sides, the only way in is going to be over here. Which I am going to use. All right, let's get go. Okay, there we go. Um, we'll just get everyone in their gear first. And who was our melee fighter? It was Johnson. Johnson gets the spear, the others get bows. We're gonna allow gear, and we're gonna get going. There's unfortunately not too many trees here, which is going to be a bit of an issue. 
because, I mean, yeah, this is going to take a little bit. So you see how, this is on, by the way, 15 times speed, so hours are going to pass for them to chop trees. Um, and that's just how it's going to be the entire time. Alright, let's get this going, you, you, you. Um, let's see. Okay. Constructing. I think that's good. Alright. So, we're gonna start by building a little bit closer to here. Actually, let's go and put everything over here. And so, even these packaged meals, which normally last, you know, months, now only last five days, this gear is going to decompose in eight days. Um, and let's see, once they start, once they start getting food going, it's going to be even faster. So let's get... Something like that. I'm gonna try to have, you know, decent looking places. And, uh, eventually. Johnson's idle. Johnson, why are you idle? Oh, there's nothing for him to haul. I guess there is. All this stuff. Johnson, why are you slacking? Alright. Oh my god. We get so little wood. So Joe clears a tree every, uh, every two hours and gets from a full tree. Actually, 41 wood ain't so bad. Um, let's get a research table going. Campfire going. Oh, we're actually gonna cancel these wooden walls. I want them, but I want this other stuff a lot more. So, so yeah, so food, which we just harvested, is rotting in half of a day. So actually, we're also going to get sticks here. Um, Johnson, why are you, why do you refuse to haul, Johnson? Johnson, why are you so idle? Johnson, what are you doing? Alright. Oh. Wait, why did one of our package meals spawn out there? What the? There's a pheasant carcass already. That's gonna decompose in a day. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to, like, literally, I'm gonna get this very first building up with research and stuff, and then. And I need to be training my pets. Uh, and my goat. Uh, and. Alright, so it's the first day. Almost done. We have nothing. We're going to die soon. You can chop one tree. Nope. No, you can't.
even building is taking hours for a simple campfire. Alright, and this is the perfect village. This is the entire first day of villagers with the strongest perks, with every single one of the strongest perks in the game, min-maxed, for the early game. Well, this is gonna be rough. Okay. Get some. going. I'll keep everyone nice and busy. Alright, there's our first meals going down. And also, this food is still rotting very quickly. Let's see, until you have three... I don't only use sticks. Alright, so we are going to be able to get meals going, but that's almost all of our mushrooms for that. Settlers are already becoming annoyed, why are you annoyed? Slept outside. roof here. Let's do the fancy half roof. Oh, there's the pheasant carcass gone. Let's see, so these meals are gonna last a full day. So basically we need to be having food. We need to not only get a lot of food, but we need to be getting it every single day because, yeah, these mushrooms are rotting. Alright. Oh. There's his clothes gone already. I guess it also affects gear on them. So yeah, these are going down in and really soon too. Great. So now they're just going to be naked. Oh, great. <laughs> All right, let's also need to start mining out the, the uh, ways in. Let's see. All right, I think that's the, all, all the only three ways in. got Johnson's been Johnson who is min max for research has been researching all day and is not even going to finish a second blue book so at this pace we're going to get and you know that that is going to increase a you can make a little bit faster uh you know as we get more stuff but but not much faster Joe, to pl okay. I'm gonna say, Joe, don't uh, tra trap yourself on bottom. Oh, great. Our animals are also hungry. Wait, they can. Oh, right. It's a cat. Doesn't it need to like hunt? Uh, which which one or which way do you mean, someone else? Oh, um, I I drastically lowered the speed at which it does it in the game settings by basically modding the game so that I could do shots like this without it being too fast. Alright, 
Um, why isn't this cat going to hunt? I thought. Oh, can it not get through the door? Oh no. Um, cat, why would you do this to yourself? Oh, also, every we're also gonna be hungry. Oh, and I forgot to do the most important thing. Is name the cat dog and name the dog cat. Uh, if I keep open, will they do this? Let's see. Paradise open. How can this cat leave? Yes. Okay, good. Alright. Wait, I thought the cat was supposed to hunt, though. Do I actually need to hunt myself? Let's do that, then. Wait, what are they eating? I don't think we have meals, so I don't know what they're actually eating. Um, let's go hunting. There was a wolf around here a second ago. And that wolf is right here. Or the cat. What? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The wolf has a... Has like a stupid high chance to retaliate by default. Wolf retaliates. 60%. Right? 60%. Three attacks and it runs away like a coward? Alright, fine. We'll hunt the fox. You think I care? Alright, there we go. And now the cat should come over. This is gonna decompose in less than a half a day. Um... All this corpse over. <sighs> right. Now it at least will stay for another full day. So basically every day I'm gonna have to go hunt for my cat. Uh, settlers are unhappy. Why? Slept outside. That should be done, right? Why is there no... Oh! Oops. That should fix it. Let's get to... Or... Basically want only this to be our the way in. So I'm gonna mine off the other entrances. So every, when it says one out of three, everyone still has stew in their pocket. So I'm good for now. Uh, uh, why are you doing that? Let's get you more wood to chop. There's not that much wood near us on this, which is a little bit worried. Now you're a room, right? And actually, if I put a door in here, it'll be a shared bedroom. Then we'll put in a restitutionist shrine. And a backgammon table. I'm gonna get their, their mood up a little bit. 
Right, because right now they're mostly just deprived of entertainment, deprived of religion. Alright, three days in. By the way, we are halfway to the first raid arriving, roughly. A raid that's going to be twice as strong as normal. Alright. I do have a strategy for this. And the strategy is not just pray and cry, uh, which is surprising to me. Alright, we're going to do... On you. This is gonna be the only. This single tile is gonna be the only way in. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. A two. By the way, Johnson, again, min-max for, for, for uh, research is almost done with four books two full days after he started. Which is why this run is so gosh darn hard. There's a shared bedroom for them at least. Why am I streaming at 120 FPS? I should not. I don't think I should be streaming at 120 FPS. Um. Hmm. That would be why everything is sort of sort of jank. I said always unhappy. Um. All right. I actually am gonna restart the stream very briefly, uh, because I need to turn that down, uh, or it makes actually editing the footage a lot. Harder. All right. Should be back now, maybe, hopefully. These trees are relatively easy to get. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know I'm back. And hello. How's it going, Shukati? I am probably pronouncing that wrong. Oh yeah, there's a wild wolf here. Uh, we're gonna kill it. Our food. Our food. This will feed the cat, so that's nice. We're in sort of a catch-22 right now, where we need to keep the door open to allow the cat to come in and eat, because, you know, this corpse is going to rot in half a day. Um, you. God, even the books are despawning or deconstructing in three days, four days. Alright, keep going. traveler so this is one other thing i'm gonna do in this run that i don't normally do because it's normally a little bit cheap but i feel like in this run and slider hell you're, you're allowed to be cheap so once the merchant gets here we're, we're gonna say hello the uh what did i name my town Ald the aldwick way Yeah, my woodpecker of a villager. All right. Um, once Joe gets back, we'll we'll say hello. Oh, oops! I need to actually. Uh, 
Uh, Julie, my, the cat is not a pet. It is a wild animal. Or not not wild, but uh, domesticated. Oh, wait. Why, why do I have a domestic wolf? What? Okay, that's just a bug. Right? I, I do not have a domestic wolf. I'm not hurting my own wolf. Oh, no, it's roped. It's, it's, okay, wait, hold on. It's, it's actually the merchant's wolf. Okay, I almost, I almost just attacked the merchant. And, and I would not attack merchant. You know, that's just incredibly rude to do. Like, the merchant is here. They're doing their best for us. I would never attack a merchant. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna attack this merchant. And uh, we're gonna miss. We're gonna miss again. Come on, Johnson. Alright, there we go. Oh wow, they're they're very generous. We just tried to stab them with the spear three times and they're like, alright. But six more times, that's gonna be a big deal. But you can see how many Alright, there's my clothes gone. You can see how many strikes it takes to actually kill. What's this wolf? Wolf runs away. Um I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf, but, uh, you know, if, if we let you run, we have to let everyone run. So, uh... So, uh... <laughs> Alright, you know, th let's, let's see what we actually got here. We got some clothes, we got a lot of seeds, we got a staff, that's pretty good. We got some booze, we'll leave this corpse out. Um, yeah, this enemy, this enemy attacked us... We had to defend ourselves valiantly because this enemy over here attacked us. Am I a bad person? Uh, Siffy, so there's a couple new things. There's a few new animals like this, uh, this dog named... Uh, this dog named Cat over here uh, is not new actually, sorry. It's the cat named Dog that's new. Uh, there's also land or terraforming so you can build uh, build dirt now, which is nice And then the main thing that we're doing is this sort of custom difficulty slider. So before let's see can I show it No, I can't I don't have really a good way to show it But before the max difficulty was very set you just put it to hard mode But now you can add a lot of sliders that make the game a ton harder So all of our food is rotting five times as fast our goods are decomposing five times as fast our workers do a tenth of the work, raids are twice as strong, a lot of stuff like that compared to the old max difficult. So I'm coming in with as strong of a run as I can get. I gave everyone, you know, the strongest perks, I min min max their setup, all this stuff, and I'm still unsure if it's going to be enough. Alright. So I actually need... Let's see. Where am I going to put this? Here, here, All right, that'll work. And so just as an example, Joe, oh, Joe didn't want to cook. All right, um, just as an example of, of how bad the work speed is, Johnson is a min-max researcher, so good skill. He has been doing nothing but research since the end of day one. And we have a total of six chronicles. Uh, this shouldn't be private. I don't, I don't plan to, to make the stream private or anything like that. So af after after I'm done, it should stay up, uh, and you should still be able to watch. All right. Progress on here is kind of slow. Oh wait, Johnson's been digging. Johnson's our digger. No, he's not a digger. Why Why are you digging? You should be doing research. Your priorities are a little scuffed right now. Alright. Oh, this is gonna decompose really soon. Can I make a butcher's table? Alright, 
this is gonna be our, our front gate. Uh, and it's gonna, oh, too late for the butcher's table. Well, I'll still build it for next time. At least this way, you know, stuff rots faster, so yay. Can't I put a dumping stock pile here? Yep, there's all of our clothes gone. Um. You know, I really thought that I'd at least have beams by now, but I guess I'm just not going to be able to do that. Am I really gonna have to build more? I'm gonna have to build a like this to actually be able to build over and finish the. Oh wait, actually, oh, too late. You know, it's really like I feel like this community is just sort of from all over, which I mean makes sense, but it's still sort of. Uh, surprising to me at first. Alright, so let's get... We're gonna have you know, a nice little archer's platform here. Alright. Really? Four, three, two. Four, three, two. Okay, yeah. Um. Longs. Or longs. So we're just getting a nice little, you know, archer's ground. Here. Alright. Food is... We're out of food. We need more food. All right, let's go to these berries. Oh, that's nice, it actually scales this properly. Uh, I think I did set that cat, but that might have been an accident. <laughs> oh, if you're happy with it, then no, it's on purpose and I'm just a genius, um, obviously. Ah, there's the first raid. Alright, we're gonna do it. Oh my god, this settler is amazing! Oh, let's see. Henrik over here, which... Okay, first off, you know, Henrik... I don't know if you've noticed, but we've sort of got like a thing going on. So, you know, you're gonna be, uh... John. Um, you know, with the names, just cause, you know, obviously. Uh, so he's got all of these great perks still, which is good, but he's also got a lot of stats. So 22 in research, 26 in mining, 22 speechcraft, 16 marks. Oh, it's actually 16 marksman. That's good. A lot of tailoring, uh, or tailoring and smithing passions, but zero skill in the stats, which is a little unfortunate, but oh well. All right. Um, we're going to, we're going to put those defenses to the test very soon. Unfortunately, we don't have a bow for him. Uh, we're going to put in a bed. John has some stacked stats, but they're not in really what we need. Like, intellectual of 22 is fine. But, you know, Johnson's already 19 and with a double passion, you know, they're only making two books a day, so they gain levels really slowly. So passion is really useful. He's got, you know, 26 mining, which is good. Actually, I am going to get, uh, no one else is going to mine but John now. Uh, and I, oh shit, we actually need to finish, 
finish this stuff real fast. Because the raid arrives tomorrow. Need more food too. Oh yeah, and, and so he's starting at, you know, 65 hit points, and that is not going to recover very quickly. Alright, so I thought that this might be the case, in which case I'm going to want to put a window here, and then another wall as well. I'm going to need to turn on neutral. All this up. So, we're gonna see if I actually survive this. And you know, as we do, let's also do this very important thing. Oh. Okay. Oh, our animals are hungry. Oh, the cat is hungry. Um. Oh, wait. The mine. You. You. Oh my god, cat, get in here. Why are you outside? Okay, wait, how do I... I need to find an animal to kill. For it to feed my cat. Um, animals, please? Something? Okay. Change your plans. We're gonna make animal feed. I don't have any vegetables. Okay, change of... change of... the changed plans. Okay. We need to get this cat to survive. Oh, we actually have a lot of wood. There's an Why are there no wild animals on this entire map? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, there's a boar. Boar hunting sounds dangerous. Now, we're actually gonna pause. I need to find this an animal to feed my cat. Am I crazy? Are there just no animals on this entire map? There's a couple wolves over here. There's like actually no animals nearby. Oh, come on. Um. Yeah, but these are like far. I thought there would be like nearby animals. Like these are so far. This is literally on the opposite side of the map. But I mean, I guess that's just what we have to do now. All right, uh, John is needed. Johnson. Johnson can take a wolf on a one. I'm not even worried. Boom. Why do they always run? Oh god. Alright, there we go. Now it's coming back. See, he's got it. Alright, haul to the stockpile. Oh, this person needs to... Actually, they're fine. Oh, and John... Wait. Oh shit. Uh, you know, this is, this is gonna be really close. Um, go. We're gonna, we're actually gonna finish that just fine. The defenses are sort of in, or as in as they're gonna be. You got food. Sort of. I like how getting enough food is actually hard on this. Normally food in this game is very much like a non-threat. But here I am struggling. 
like harvesting this barley gets me two barley. And I don't even have the first technology yet. Half a season in. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that does sound like something I did. Oh my god, John. What are you... Obviously, we're going to defend. Because we are good people at Albrecht. Anyone whose name starts with J-O is just inherently a good person. Alright, come on. Yeah? You think I'm scared of y'all? You think I'm scared? There's... Seven. seven of you? There's only seven of you. That's so easy. It's literally the easiest fight in the game. I've literally never had an easier fight. Is there a fox eating my food? There is a fox eating my food. There was an animal here that I could have hunted this entire time. Johnson, you know, Johnson's gonna get a little bit of warm-up in. <laughs> okay, why not? Uh, you know, that, it's a good thing that we got the warm-up in. Alright, uh, where is everyone? Alright, we're gonna have Johnson go here, Joe go here, Joe go here. Is our fourth person? What were you doing out here, John? Oh my god, John. John, what were you doing? Oh, John is... The fuck? Why are you out here, John? <laughs> Why are you out here? Are you gonna haul these four sticks back? Is that it? <laughs> okay, so fortunately, he's got enough movement speed to actually escape. We can actually really easily outrun raiders here. <laughs> no, no, that's Cat. You're thinking of this John. John without an H is John without an H is great. Uh, John with an H, though, is, is, you know, a little bit questionable. With all the negative traits, this is straight impossible. There is no way this can be done straight. Like, I will give anyone who can do this with all the negative traits actual money. Because I have tried without, the, without all these extra difficulty sliders with all the max traits, and it's borderline impossible. All right, come on, guys. Hurry up. We don't got all day. They're going the, the only way they have in. Alright, so basically the idea behind this defense is obviously archers up here. But two-handed melee weapons can attack through open windows. So the enemies are going to run in. And they might be able to... To, uh, hit us, but... Wow. 57 takes off a quarter of their hit points. Not, yeah. Okay. Let's return fire at archers. So, when this guy gets in... Nope, nope, that is not where you attack from. You should be able to attack through the windows. Yep, there we go. So this achieves the same effect as a graded door. the other archer but having said that our door is going down kind of fast and enemies with tinted weapons can attack back as well all right door is almost down but i think we're gonna be fine here So I think we're gonna be there we go nice and easy all right you, you know honestly this is actually is going a lot better than I thought I thought that this would be borderline impossible and I think that it's gonna scale up and be very difficult in the future but for right now this isn't that bad all right we're gonna take a couple of Ardiches away from this we'll take some helmets some clothes Alright. 
Yeah, like I thought this was gonna be a uh, like a lot worse with the work speed, but I think honestly it might be because I started them with goods. Because I think I started them with a decent amount of gear, they were able to actually defend this stuff, and I feel like like if I didn't have weapons there, I'm dead. Like obviously I can't research weapons in time. Um, even if I'd literally just done made research benches and had all three people working, it wouldn't have been in time. Will cats eat or human corpses? Uh, cat, I am playing with that music because I want to use this recording for uh, for the video, and I edit my music in afterwards to make it not like when I jump between scenes to make it not abrupt and awful. Alright, so what's the next goal? Uh, we need to haul... I think the next goal is setting up farms. Right, because I need... I need food a lot. Like, I'm, I'm very... Have, having a lot of issues with food, and that's gonna be, you know, borderline impossible coming forward. So, I think that I want to set up a farm. And I think that my farm is gonna be... Over here. So let's have the cooking area be... Here, okay. There's some flax here too. That's nice. All right. Um, we're gonna start mining out a place. If I mined it here, actually, yeah, I'm gonna put the farm here so that I can mine this clay. Um. Perfect. It's perfect. The music is super nice in this game, but yeah, I want to edit it in, edit it in afterwards just to avoid any issues. We're almost finally at our first technology. <sighs> All right. I honestly just also need to get some hauling done, so I think right now I'm gonna have Joe needs to keep make or er, uh, getting food or berries. God, I'll do these rot so quickly. That'll hopefully be less of an issue soon-ish. Oh no, my cabbage seeds decomposed! Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that, because normally seeds take forever to decompose. No! <laughs> oh, that's a little unfortunate. Alright, let's free up some space. Uh, we're gonna have Johnson equip stuff. We'll have Joe equip stuff. We'll have Joe equip stuff. Oh, that's so unfortunate. We'll have John equip stuff. You know, let's swap things around a bit. Um, Joe, drop that heretic helmet, please. That doesn't really fit you. Uh, Johnson, Johnson is definitely a heretic helmet kind of guy. I mean, this, this is a researcher who only wants to wield melee weapons. Oh, I forgot. I was going to make everyone tall here, Cat, but I forgot. Oh, that's, I knew I was forgetting something. God, work is so slow. Right. Stairs. Oh, we are getting some hauling work done, which is nice.
I do think that one thing I'm gonna do is keep a two to one or two, a one to one archer to melee fighter sort of ratio here. So I would obviously prefer to have John on a bow, and I actually have bows now, but I'm gonna keep a one to one ratio. God, please do more research. I might actually get a second research. Once we've got the cellar and some other stuff in, I might get a second research table going to let John uh, help with that. Or... Oh. These foxes are kind of being a pain. Boxes are ruining my life. Uh, this mining is going to be for a cellar. Um, because food rots so quickly, one of the custom difficulty things is that food rots five times as fast. Um, I need to build a cellar, so it's literally the second thing I'm building. I feel that, yeah. I feel like I get so many, like... Well, I mean, having said that, you know, obviously we have a, a, a ranged settler joining, but I feel like I get way more melee settlers. Waste in here. Okay. All of our clothes just decompose in, like, minutes, it feels like. Oh, yeah, these are three, po three hit points. Joe's clothes are at three hit points, and everyone else is completely naked. Ah, oh, this decomposition's rough. <laughs> All right, how are our animals doing? Uh, the goat. Okay, you are thirty-three percent trained. I should really have a pen for them, actually. Uh, let's get that. Let's get that actually. That'll be nice and easy. Um, We finally did it! Eight days of research. Oh, okay, please hold on one second. Uh, reports. Reports. Right. Okay, uh, let's see. More reporting to do. A lot of them today. I, you know, I hope they're at least liking the video. Uh, Saifi, I started them with long bows, so they've got good bows already. Okay, sorry, I was saying before I noticed that there's spam bots. We finally unlocked the first technology eight days in. It feels good. It feels so good. All right. Thing. How do I want to do this? Well, I don't need beams yet. Uh, okay. Our entire map is now a pen. <laughs> and we can keep every animal imaginable and also gigantic fat. Uh, anyways. Are you annoyed? Desperately thirsty, ugly apparel. Honestly, understandable. Okay, there's the last clothes gone. So, it looks like a full health outfit will last... Let's see, that was three hit points in basically half a day. So a full outfit, or six hit points a day, so a full outfit will last like half a, half a year. 
I feel like our colonists might be naked a lot. I didn't think bows decomposed on the actual person. I thought they only decomposed when you shot them. I'll keep an eye out for that though. So Joe's bow is at 132 hit points. Uh, let's prioritize this. Okay, we need more food. God darn it. Uh, harvest you. No more berries around. That's not good. I guess we'll harvest you. Um, that's not good. Going. See, there's some mushrooms. Food is actually such a big issue, and I did not expect it to be such an issue. Mushrooms. Cat the dog is hungry. Why is Cat the dog all the way out here, though? That should actually make our goats getting tamed faster. I should have set that up earlier. Oh, there's our first rebellion. Oh, he's hungry. Even though he had meals. Even though he had a meal and had a shrine available. Okay, yeah. I guess I should set up leisure hours after the week. Okay, dog the cat is. It's cat the dog that's. It's cat the dog go. <laughs> okay, that is a brilliant idea, and that is exactly what we were doing with these animals. Alright, you are now cat the dog. Oh no! Alright, that's fine. And you are now. Dog the cat. <laughs> Is it bad that I enjoy the simple things in life? <laughs> okay, that's true. Actually, that's a way better way to do it. Dog the cat. Uh, where's the other goat? Cat the dog. Okay, perfect. This is a long rope. Okay. Okay, now the cat is also unhappy. Oh, I oh god. Okay. Oh, the ant- the This is really annoying. I need to close this door once the dog's back. Look at this gigantic rope. This is actually kind of funny. Because the animal is trying to keep up. But the animal doesn't run very fast. And the settler has the all the moose speed perks. So he's just a sprinter. Like, he's moving, you know, literally twice as fast as a normal settler would. So he just outpaces the animal by so much that the rope stretches the entire map. No, stop, stop going for all this stuff that's so far away. Um, okay. Okay. 
Okay. Good, we now need... That to get out. All right, we need an animal. To, we need to hunt an animal, and we need to give our dog some. Honestly, can those wolves come back yet? All right. Um. Johnson, let's go hunting. Why do all the wolves run? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, that's actually really cool. So while drafted, if you tell them to hunt now, they will actually haul it back. All right, so that'll feed cat the dog. Not cat, not cat the dog or dog the cat, but it will feed cat the dog and dog the cat. Or cat the dog. We are a long way off from preserving food though. Actually, we're not even, we're not incredibly far. Okay, so there's, there's dog the cat. Oh nice, and, do and cat the dog did eat. Okay, good. And another animal is coming to say hello. And what do we say to foxes? We say you never should have come here, but actually we're going to let you live this time. Unless you run into a dead end, and then we're not going to let you live this time. Okay. We're now going to keep this door closed. What we're going to do... One thing that I want to try... Oh my god, please kill this ant. Okay, you know what? You know what? This fox gets to live. I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm not even angry. Joe, get over your tantrum. Though. Okay, wow, it, it worked. Getting mad at Joe worked. That's incredible. You better not start again. Why are you unhappy? Okay, barley is not worth it. You get one barley per node, and it takes like eight years. We are a red current only society. This fox isn't coming back for more, right? This fox would surely never be attacked. Okay, there's a rebellion. All right, John, round two. No, John, John, round two. Good job, John, proud of you. How'd the fox get through a default door? Oh, because it's still open. I didn't? Wait, you're exhausted. Why aren't you sleeping? All right, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a drink. One moment.
Okay. Uh, and I'm happy to, you know, bring this sound to you from today's sponsor. I don't actually know if that went through very well or if that was way too loud. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we're gonna look at weapon quality. So it, the bows are slowly degrading. Okay then. Um, keep A. A good place for a small. Let's speed up. This is almost done. more wood, huh? Oh, there's the last clothes gone. Now everyone is naked again. You know, I can't shout out what I'm drinking without a, without a, it's a, it's Dr. Pepper. Just Dr. Pepper. Alright, um, we're for a stockpile. Warfare, weapons, melee, spears, and staff, and then simple roof for that. Actually, need more. Hopefully this is, yeah, this is John. This is a good thing. So this is actually cold enough to keep food uh, good now. So we're going to put up flooring here. Oh, even the helmets decompose. Does that mean their armor is decomposing too? Yes, Jesus. Okay. In that case, I need to have this many slots. Boom. Once that's in, everyone will be to be happy. All right, let's go. Ah, yes, canned water, my favorite. Almost just the second technology of full season in. He's about to rebel. Really? Uh, we're actually going to try to avoid that by telling him to go do leisure. And me? 
maybe this will get him. Yeah, entertainment needs fulfilled, sleep fulfilled, which will actually get his mood up and up. All right, uh, and then, and then back to sleeping. Well. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that sci-fi or siffy or some other way that is very possibly the correct way to do it. It's less about how far down you dig and more about what's there. So, wicker floors are bad. I'm going to need them, but they increase the temperature by a bit. You want to have a high surface area and you do want to be at least one level down. So there's a full layer of dirt above and honestly, I should go deeper, but I'm just not. Um, but it's mostly about not having any floors and having dirt on all sides. Please don't tell me I'm gonna get hypothermia this run too, it's the late spring. Research, we did it. Agriculture. Alright, what do I have to plant? I don't have any cabbage seeds anymore. No flax, no carrot, no beet. The barley, no red currants. Ah, I see. I am doomed. So it's gonna be like that. <laughs> All right, let's harvest. A Actually, I need to harvest a bunch of these anyways for the food. I'm sure we are about out of that. And we'll harvest some of this barley. I don't know what if I want to rush. There's so many things that I need to rush. I need preserving food. But I also need wooden weaponry. Furniture would be nice for the research speed buff. I need tailoring, obviously. Yeah, so you can see that actually uh, having this floor actually increased the temperature inside. It was 39 and now it's 40. Let's see. Default stockpile. All thing food. Uh, very high priority. Goats almost trained. Six. No, they've been failing. Why are they failing? Oh, because he's been busy constructing. Okay, that's my fault. Joe rebels, summer hits. Johnson's close to rebelling. John is close to rebelling. Why are you starving? Oh, we're starving. That's why we're rebelling. Um, and Joe is the person who picks our food, isn't he? All right. Who's got the best bot? See, this is the problem when you min-max, is all of my other settlers have zero botany skill. Um, which is just very unfortunate. Oh, this might be bad. This might be the end of the end of the run. I might have fucked up. We're going to eat all the barley too now that I needed to plant. And we're going to go through all these red currants. Of that stuff. Go cook a meal, please. Mm. 
please, for the love of God, why are we not in heels? Um. Please, for the love of God, have enough to cook a meal. Oh, you're gonna go to sleep. Okay. Sorry, Joe. This is your fault for uh, rebelling earlier. Uh, you're gonna keep hauling. You're gonna you're gonna keep working. You're gonna work through the night. You're gonna cook everyone some meals, and then you can go to bed. Screw you, Fox. He just ate one of our pies. <laughs> You too, cat. No, our pies. <laughs> Joe worked so hard for those. <laughs> Let's get rid of this stupid fox. Foxes cause nothing but problems. Animals are hungry. Why is cat the dog out there still? This animal, John. Why do they always run? It actually does our butchering. Um, it's actually going to be John. Right as production. <sighs> This takes so long. For 13 meat. Okay. Joe's about to go over to full-time food production. Of course we're unhappy. I don't think settlers in my runs are allowed to be happy. Like, I think it's just not allowed in general. Alright, hold on. We need to include... Food, meal, raw food, raw meat. Then we're going to go over here and get rid of raw meat. And then when I tell Johnson to go haul this, he should take it over here. Okay, never mind. Someone else is going to haul it first. Because this gate is open, now the an yeah the dog should come. Oh, who's a good who's a good cat? Who's a good cat? You're a good cat. All right. Uh, no, no, what? Gosh darn it, Joe. Nope. Um. But no, haul this. All right. Okay, there we go. Alright, so this will actually trap the dog here. And I'm gonna still have to feed the dog, obviously, but 
this means that at least the dog will be close by. Alright, and now I can cook with the meat. I'm doing uh, mining like this to increase the surface area, which should in which should decrease the temperature. Oh, I forgot to actually move all their stuff over to. Go ahead and right, this stuff's still going down. Uh, Joe has nothing on. Oh wait, all right. Joe has nothing on him because I stripped him. All right, let's get some Holland done. So take light helmets. All right, John's gonna do all the tauling. This stuff should now no longer do. There's a rebellion. Got a food. Where did all our food go? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I was not expecting food to be this hard to come by. Like, I was expecting it to be a little hard, but not this hard. We got some milk. Let's see, you're no longer gonna have milk. You know, in retrospect, I should have had someone who wasn't the botanist doing colon because their work is very, very in demand. All right, Taylor, intellectual marksman, carpenter. All right, they're really good. Uh, but that, I don't, I, I can't pronounce this name. Okay, of course, he's unconscious immediately. Yeah, this is weird. We have five guys, and I just don't think that they can make burgers. So I'm not sure how that franchise started. Uh, we need another guy's name that starts with uh, uh, the only good letters in the alphabet. So welcome to the team. Jonathan. Uh, take care, Sippy. Um, we need another bed.
Okay. Alright, the dog's hungry. We're gonna have to go hunting again soon. I'll be honest, Joe. These are not high priority. We're finally planting our first red currants. And do note that each planting each one of these takes like a full hour. Oh, and he didn't even finish in time and before he went to bed. Just great. This runs perfect, and you know that timing? I literally could not have scripted for a video. <laughs> we play find the animals the answer is unfortunately that the animals are very far Jonathan why were you standing in the corner there uh, go hunt the deer You know, this is Jonathan's proving right. Or, uh, I was gonna say proving grounds, but that's not right either. Uh, like his trial to join the village. Good job, Jonathan. You hunted down a defenseless deer, you monster. How are these goats doing? 41%, 42%, and, and 42%. Settlers are idle, that's not right. John, what are you supposed to be doing again? Uh, mining, you're done with. Hauling, I guess there's no hauling to do. What else you get at? Not much. Uh, Alright, John. We're gonna go ahead and grab a spear. We're gonna go hunt some more. Cool. Go do that. You know, John never actually got his own trial by fire. So, you know, it's good that he, he finally gets one. And we're finally planting our first crop. Every time! <laughs> every time. Every. I'm never going to say anything again. This is the first quiet stream with a streamer who just doesn't talk ever. John, what are you doing? John, what happened to your hunt? These guys inside, they're closer. Someone got in. Oh my god, everyone's sleeping. Does I need more sleep? Good job, John. Proud of you. Why are any of our settlers unhappy? Now I know the answer is that their mood target is a default 20. Uh, but I don't like that answer, so I choose to ignore it. I am not sure we're going to be surviving winter. I'll be honest here. 
Which actually, let me know that I say that. Drop your winter clothes. Uh, and you can have apparel clothes too. We basically need a trader to come with some winter outfits. Wow, that's a lot of meat. Okay, deer are good. Deer are good hunting. Oh, darn, this is just a little bit too warm. To keep food uh, good indefinitely. So let's see. This is gonna take. Oh, actually, no, we're good. It's 0.2 degrees to uh, at the right uh, temperature, whatever. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're gonna have some other people help grow. Yeah, like you're. No, stop convalescing. Oh. Alright, now that everything's gonna go perfectly for the rest of the game, you know, how's everyone's uh, Saturday or weekend's going? It's pretty early for me here, but. Oh, they're suffering from excess heat. Wow, we've got idle villagers. All right. Y'all can help with planting too. John, actually, you're gonna go hunt. There's really no way to get down here easily. Hey, they have to run all the way around. That's actually interesting. Let's see, there's probably deer over here still. No, they ran away after I. Actually, it's too late to go. Um. Screw it. They'll be fine. They, they move really fast, so actually should be okay. The joys of retail. Oh, that's nice. Um, hopefully your trip went well, Cat. Move this all over here eventually. Are you unconscious? Why are you unconscious? Oh, he's unconscious because I left him drafted there. Um, <clears throat> oh no! We didn't chop it up in time. Got. Also grow barley here. I know, right? 
how who would have thought that I could make a mistake? That just doesn't sound right. Wait, no, this is the old one. There was there was no deer carcass here. I'm not crazy. All right, we do have a new cow though. That's pretty cool. Red currants are getting planted. I do really need to start giving them some better, like, some better stuff in. But first, I need to. Well. You know, we actually have a not nothing amount of food. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, Cat. Please, please just stop gaslighting me. Gaslighting is one of the worst things you can do, and you were doing it to me, so please stop. He's Jonathan. Actually, that's true. It's Jonathan. <laughs> I can't believe that somebody spelled that name wrong originally, but I guess we're stuck with it. Jonathan would never let anyone else um, call him anything else. I like how there's just all this vegetable rot in the fields because some of these berries literally rot while being planted. That's true. Ne the next male colonist is definitely going to be named Jonathan. <laughs> Research uh, fermenting was actually tempting. But I feel like we don't have enough food for it yet. Like, we need to stockpile for the winter. So we need, you know, 240-ish units of food for the winter. But I don't think we do that. I think we go for furniture. We're tailoring? God, there's so much I want to do. Alright, we're not going to decide just yet. Let's think. Hey, another cat. Joyce? Uh, no, that just doesn't make sense. Um, Alright, there. Perfect name for a cat. Really, we're vital. John, you are not an animal. Oh, uh, I guess my name is Ryan, and I am from California in the United States. And it's amazing here, and, uh... Oh. Alright, we're out of berries. You know how I was just saying that we had, like, so many berries? We're now completely out of our stockpile. And Goat the dog would be, like, it's so... That was my first thought. Um... But, well, you know, now actually that's funny. <laughs> uh, I was going to say that we don't have, we can't name the cat, you know, you know, something like the goat because it just doesn't make sense. Um, here, I know what we're going to name. There we go. Idle. Why are they idle? John, you're not a researcher. So he's not a bad researcher. 
Okay, uh... Oops. Not want to exit. Growing. It's fine. Okay, I should harvest all this flax, too. Alright, let's think. Tailoring is going to be needed for the winter for clothes. And we actually are going to have some flax and then some leather. So we could actually make a non-insignificant amount of clothes. But I think I'm going to be able to get there just fine. Fermenting is just a luxury that I can't afford right now. I think it's got to be furniture. This furniture gives us uh, wooden bookshelves, which are going to be used for a library. I have a really idle. We are no longer going to be idle. We're going to train everything. John rebelling. Remember, he's just signed up for more work and then he immediately gets mad about it. Let's also start chopping trees, and we'll replant those as well. That'll give everyone plenty of work. It's true, if, if this stream doesn't end with some sort of who's on third base, I'm going to be slightly disappointed. Let's see, library... No, sure, okay, so all this stuff has to go outside. Animals hungry. How did Cat the Dog get out? Oh wait, no, sorry, this isn't Cat the Dog, this is Cat the Cat! <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Okay. This time I'm not gonna forget and leave my person out of the. Why? Why do they keep getting stuck like this? Look. Actually, one thing that's really nice that I hadn't expected is the movement speed, it means that they can chase down fleeing animals really easily. There's the library. Alright, that'll help some. That'll make research a tiny bit faster. Definitely did not just forget Jonathan there like a minute after forgetting thing. I wouldn't forget Jonathan there. Also, hello, welcome. Hope your hope your weekend's going well so far, Cyril. Two, that's fine. Need more. Hey. We need more everything, honestly. T hunger. At the cat. Who is still outside. Keep you open for. Okay, 
that should let Cat the Cat run in. Yep, Cat the Cat's coming in. It will also let some wild animals in. God, where am I in the map? Please. Eat this wolf. Actually, no, no. Um, Jonathan, you can deal with this one. There's Cat the Cat, right? There's Cat the Cat, so now I can default. There we go. I do think my next technology is going to be tailoring. I think it just has to be. It's already nine. Jesus, I've been streaming for two hours. This game is incredible. I feel like I just started. And then I glance over and I've been live for, you know, two hours. Alright, our cellar's looking like something. And food. We actually have- we're at eight out of five meals for like the first time ever. Alright, so what's the next goal? Let's think. Private bedrooms is probably a good one. I'm not gonna be able to get uh, furniture or decorative structures too for the other stuff, so private bedrooms will work. So if our food's gonna be grown like here, let's think. So this is gonna be like our farm area. Then I'll probably have the great hall like here-ish. So let's start putting in some private bedrooms. Hmm. We're gonna go ambitious there, so it's gonna be like that. So I got an, I, a rough idea in my head of what I want. Alright, so then we're gonna go with And honestly, I should be building this out of clay because I have so much of it. But I really don't want to because clay is ugly. So we're not going to. Start with that. I, so I will be right back. One second. Oh god, why is every I'm back and why is everyone rebelling? Why is everyone unhappy? Really desperately thirsty, okay? Whatever. That's fine. Why were you so mad? We're good. I'm not even panicking.
Shrek is a good donkey name. Who's hungry? Wait. Wait, I thought Cat the Cat was inside. Oh wait, this is Dog the Cat. When did Dog the Cat get out? Okay, game. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, I, I intentionally did not pause the game, but I didn't think that things would go that horribly that quickly. Alright, you know what? It's fine. I wanted Dog the Cat to escape so that when they're coming back in, a few more animals arrive and we can hunt them down. So. Yep, there's a wolf. Exactly what I wanted. Yeah, this weird bug keeps happening. Please do not attack other villagers, Jonathan. The Joe code does not allow for this. Oh. Wait, am I dumb? One, two, oh, I'm dumb. Wait, four, three, two, oh my god, man, you know what the craziest part is? Now I need 45 blue books to fix this. I mean, for now, we'll just do, uh, you, I guess. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Um, I was not thinking about this, clearly. Oh, almost all of our red currants are planted. Yeah, so now food's starting to rot. Oh, that's unfortunate. No. Wait, where's the other... Where are our meals getting kept? They're right there. They're decomposing very quickly. Um, there. Who's our builder? Oh. John should not be preparing any food. That's a big mistake. I've been wasting a lot of food with that, probably. Oh yeah, we planted just in time. Well, actually, we might have needed to plant earlier. The berry bushes only are good for three. Are only good for three harvests. So uh, the these are starting to die now, and we got these down, but these aren't going to be ready for a while. There's Cat the Cat. Quickly, default. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Boom. Right now, we're just going to go with the bare minimum, um, which is unfortunate, but it's just sort of where we're at. Almost a bare minimum. I am definitely gonna have to name it. Yep. You almost tamed. Sixty-seven percent. All right, we're gonna try to. We're gonna 
We're gonna, you know, perform a special operation. Alright. Open. 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 Keep you open a sec. Alright. Special operation done. That was super easy. Now the dog's inside. This is a lot of red currants, but I just think it's necessary to have a lot of food going into it. Actually, these aren't even gonna get one full yield off, huh? Ah, oh, they'll get one. Which is not gonna be nearly enough food, so we are gonna have to keep hunting. Really desperately thirsty. Yeah, that's just not improving for a while, unfortunately. They will get some proper beds soon, at least. Hey. Also wood. I really wish that I liked the look of clay more in this game because I have 400 of it and I have like no wood. But, you know, aesthetics gotta come first. I don't make the rules, it's just that way. Well, that... Wait, uh... Uh, Erdbeer, do you want us to call... I know you changed your name. Do you want us to call you the same name as before, or no? But also, that sucks. Even Tallow decomposed? I didn't even know that Tallow decomposed. Alright, uh, let's plant some flax. Kenny, I just do not like the look of clay, so I don't build with clay. It's that, I just don't like that like sort of ugly yellow, or not, it's not ugly, but to me it is ugly. Uh, so I don't use it to build, even though I very objectively should. How's the food stock doing? 20 red currants, 5 roasted meat, some milk. So not great. Uh, I thought it was the opposite. Wait, am I wrong? Let's see, thermals. Oh no, you're right, you're right. It's the flooring, I think, that, uh... I think clay bricks aren't good for the flooring insulation, but and wood's really good. But for walls, yeah, wood's bad. the last we're sewing. Even that I don't think is gonna get in. Alright, there's some bedrooms. Let's see. Also... See you. I think there's some more around here. Hey, another... Oh god. Okay. Uh, good... Well, good passion for cooking, good carpenter, a lot of, a lot of passions. We like to see that. Uh, we are going to help. Alright, so this is... Alright, um... 
Joanna is, uh, you know, a very welcome member. Alright, so let's see, what's she good at? Um, good miner, wow, an amazing marksman, that's good at least. Good carpenter too. Okay. Manage. Cool. Jobs. Wait, which message? So she's a good grower. Um. She can be our eventual smith and carpenter. Actually, no. Oh, that's weird. I I only see the XD there in your message a few messages ago, but I'm not sure if that's. Yeah, I assume that's what you're talking about. All right, John's idle. What should John be doing? Um, animal husbandry, building. Oh, we need more. Um, in that case, what can our builder be doing? Planting. Oh, we can plant more saplings, actually. Oh, actually, we're gonna... Screw those over here. I don't think that, I feel like that's unlikely. Oh, sleeping outside underneath the stars. Oh, how do they actually get to the doors? That should handle all this wood that I just do not have. Thanks, Cyril. Sleep well. Have a good night. And uh, have a good rest of the weekend, too. Alright. There's decorative structures, which would be good for a chapel. Yeah, mood's a pretty big issue right now. But if I do this, am I going to have time to get tailoring? Hmm, I don't think I will. So I think I have to hold these off for tailoring so that I can actually get some uh, stuff in. Okay, John's idle still. you even be doing? I guess you hunt. Alright, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Alright, John is a marksman.
How do you stop? John's supposed to be an expert marksman, but it does not feel like it right now. I don't think he's hit a shot yet. And then he one shots as soon as I say anything. Animals are hungry, that's Cat the Cat. Do we not have any meat? No, we don't have any meat. Or any food. Okay, uh, let's see, what do I want to do? John, you're also going to go. Huh? Jonathan, you're also, also going to go. Chop those bodies up. I mean, the uh, carcasses up. Who's good at that again? We should I be having John do this because animal handling determines. Okay, hello. Oh, they're only melee enemies. That shouldn't be too bad then. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that the uh, mood buff worked that way with beds. There's the raid start. It'll take them a while to get here though, right? What weapon is that? A two-handed warhammer? Where are you, Jonathan? Kill that fox. Let's start getting everyone. So Joanna is a marksman. So we're gonna do it like this. Um, gonna prioritize. No. Uh, what else are other marksmen? Ranged, ranged, melee two handed, melee two handed. Alright, oh, and then helmets. Oh, that's fine. We're not going to take enough damage. I say basically guaranteeing the loss. So let's go ahead and do that, and then John here, Jonathan here. I honestly want to leave John here working on this. I think that'd be a little bit too greedy. What's the- oh, I need to get rid of this tree. It's giving them- like, we just missed like three arrows because of this tree.
Jonathan, you want to get involved here? No? You decided you... Jonathan? Okay, Jonathan's weapon just died in the middle of combat. You know what, Jonathan? You got it. You're good. Right? Yeah, the door's fine. Jonathan can garden while the rest fight. <laughs> Where'd you go, John? Oh, the boy died. Not even close. Not even a Ow. Okay, Johnson, please. That's enough. What are you why are you attacking? Okay. Um Oh these corpses are gonna rot. Okay, let's switch these over. We're gonna put uh, carcasses here too. And I know that people want to sleep. That is unfortunately not a lab right now. You are going to haul. You are going to haul. Oh wait, no, sorry. You're gonna keep cooking. You are going to haul. All right, we don't have any meals. Where did we store them? Why did you... Please haul. Please take these someplace where they won't rot. Alright, John. That was a hundred meat. Yeah, before we were getting like 50 an animal, and now we get like a hundred per. John is going to have a very bad morning, but it is unfortunately necessary to give everyone. Okay, now let's look through all this gear. Steel bird each, steel plate armor, steel great helm, that's really good. Iron great helm, that's also really good. Clothes we like. Clothes we like. Not very many clothes here. Jesus, where'd all their clothes go? Are they just attacking us naked? That's so rude. Oh, uh, I'm moving my kitchen over here. This is where my kitchen's eventually gonna be. With like the cellar and all here. Which actually, let me relocate you. This guy's an- <sighs> Hmm. I would like to not have Joe Butcher because he's bad at it, but unfortunately that's just where we are. Let's actually have everyone come here to drop their weapons. Is it last guy? Um, okay. Uh, drop, 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 okay. Oh, uh, the enemy cork, enemy carcasses have all already rotted. Oh, we need a door. Oh, 
Well, I told them all to drop it, and they immediately put on other gear, which is honestly on me. <laughs> it's true. It's actually not this tree that caused our archers to miss. It was just the horrifying sight of naked people charging you that caused all of our archers to miss. Yeah, so Joe gets like half the wood. Wood, which we are ready to mine, but we just need more work getting done because nothing gets done in this village. Hey, Cat the Dog's finally been trained. Please haul, please haul, please God, Cat the Dog, who is a goat, please haul. Uh, Kenny, so the reason I'm having them drop it is that when they are equipped, these weapons degrade. But as long as they are roofed and, um, roofed and on a floor, these weapons no longer degrade. So they, uh, and same with the armor. So basically this is just a way to make sure that there's stuff less for as long as possible. Oh, uh, see that makes a lot more sense, Julie is that all of their gear actually did not just they weren't naked we just sort of chopped their clothes to ribbons uh but I, you know honestly i prefer my imagination of it it's just a little bit funnier <laughs> yes cat the dog who is a goat and is very different from dog the cat who is also a goat oh i haven't named our cow yet perfect So cat, this actually does none of the debuffs affect training percent. The main things that affect how quickly you train is the animal husbandry skill, which I got our guy up to 25 for a reason, and how close you keep them. So I I made sure that this was very close so that, that uh, training is done very quickly. Oh my god, we actually have like stuff down here. I mean, not much stuff, but you know some stuff. You're ruining the shot, Traveler, because now especially the camera's going to stay exactly where it was. Oh, there's the cap destroying. Yeah, so like the, the cap, the weapons would also be degrading, Kenny. Oh my god, okay, yeah, that's... Nope, cat, cat has the right idea. This name, this, uh... Cow's name is now Cat. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's so perfect. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What's this merchant gonna bring? Because honestly, you know, we would never attack merchants here in our village. You know, we're just too honorable and kind and uh, generous and, and great. Uh, but we'll see how things end up. Okay, actually, they got, these guys are sleeping outside. Let's start fixing that. Oh, I wanted to do this differently. Yeah. So we're going to move you. There. There? Can't do it yet. Oh, I just got rid of all that hay. Whoops. Whoops. You know, at least with this mode, it's honestly so easy because they don't see dead bodies for long. So that debuff that is, you know, such an issue uh, just doesn't really impact the game at all. All right. Let's see what they've got. Well, they have a dog. Wow. So we could sell them our dog who is trained to be a pet. Oh wait, sorry, that's not... No, this is a dog. Oh my god, this is so confusing! 
<laughs> okay, we have a pet somewhere here. No, sorry, the pet is pet is cat the dog the goat. <laughs> Uh, who we could sell for seven gold and if we want to buy This boringly named dog who is actually a dog and not confusing in any way. It's 1200 gold Um, Wow, there's mead some nice meals black seeds cabbage Oh man, you know, it'd be so nice if we were just a society that attacked merchants. Like, honestly, it would just make the game a lot easier. Um, I'm really just sort of upset that we don't because, I mean, it's just so much better to be people who would attack merchants. Uh, and so, you know, it's annoying to limit yourself like this. Um, let me look for some animals to hunt over here. I don't see anything. Okay, wait, are they doing that? Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I don't see any animals that I could hunt over here. Huh. Hmm. Wait, what happened? How dare this merchant attack us? What's wrong with it? They even attacked Jonathan? How dare they? How dare they? Unbelievable. The nerve. Alright, well, I mean... We would obviously never want something like that to happen. But now that it has happened, we're not going to restrict ourselves. Wait, why do I have a wolf in here? How did this wolf get here? Oh, wait, it's our wolf now. It's a domestic wolf now. And we got a new dog. <laughs> uh, I need a, I need a good dog name. Yeah, right, the nerve of that merchant. Unbelievable. All right, I need a good dog name. Oh, I know, Big Wolf. And then our wolf's name is, of course, Small Dog. <laughs> Wolfit is also good, but we're going for a general confusing and unintelligible mess here, and I just feel like Wolfit isn't confusing enough. I think, okay, Kat, I think what happened here is the merchant was here when they attacked us. And so because of that, uh, they, the animals were kept here. I'm gonna stream for probably another hour to an hour and a half. Alright, we're at 175. So we're gonna unlock tailoring. And tailoring is gonna be a nightmare. Like an actual unadulterated nightmare. Uh, because it's gonna take like four years. How oh, are doing on food? We're good on food. Our builder is really behind. So what's our builder doing? Oh, they're training animals. We're gonna have Jonathan start doing it. it planting these trees are nice, but it's just not that important. Good, this any oh wait, uh, uh that did that did not say for one frame merchant. It said enemy corpse. In case you're wondering. All right, I'm going to I'm not sure if it's Powell or like Powell or something, but hello. How are you? Yeah, 
you know what? That's a good point. We are going to go ahead and put a uh, merchant stall here. You know, they just... Unbelievable. The nerve of this fox. What happened? Oh, I just haven't built the door in yet. Johnson's turned 42. <laughs> Alright, there's our first goat. Um... <laughs> Wait, there was a really... Yeah, honestly, that's a great idea. Thank you for the merchant stall. Okay, what's a good goat name? We've got cat the dog, dog the cat, Jonathan. <laughs> um, help Hall, please. Our animal guy is actually doing like a full-time job just taming all of these animals. So actually, I think we're going to move someone else to construction. Which Jonathan can handle. Wait, don't I already have a dog? Don't I already have a goat named Cat the Dog? Yeah, I already have one named Cat the Dog. Oh, that's perfect. Wait, the wolf's name is... What's the wolf's name? Wolf name is Small Dog, so this goat is named... Big Dog. Perfect. Perfect. Flawless. Oh, we are going through food, though. Oh my god, I saw this... And I thought that the dog, that cat the dog was dead because it looks like it's sort of on its side or like, yeah, but we're good. This fox comes to steal our food and then just sits here. Which also, wait, why do you all have weapons? going for him. Come on, Jonathan. Don't give up. Wait, more goats? Oh my god, I don't know if I can feed all these goats. W what do I do with these goats? They're wild goats. But they're really close. Alright, come on. Join the herd. Nice, that'll actually get you through probably the end of the stream. I actually have a lot of wood. This merchant stall actually takes like a full day to build. Hey John? John buddy? John you okay? John? John. John, buddy, are you okay? I think they were trying to get the dog, but the dog was stuck in the wall.
Some say that Jonathan's still building to this very day. Some say that Jonathan is no longer building to this very day. Oh my god, honestly, the timing on all this stuff is working out so well. I could release some of this as like the actual video and it wouldn't be out of place. Why does Cat the Cat end up here? How are- how do they- isn't this like not the first time they've gotten like this? Alright, go- go rebel, John. Alright, here comes Cat the Cat, all the way across the map. I want to finish this. So let me do one thing, which is knock out this wall. This wall. I saw that. That was that was pretty amazing, cat. <laughs> <laughs> John is really close to doing something. <sighs> Can we finish building, please? Oh, Jonathan's come back. He did it. He finished the, uh, the merchant stall. We gonna, we gonna put this in? Guys, we're kinda low on food here. There we go. Okay, nothing. Small dog is having some issues. I don't know if I wanna keep small dog around. As brutal as that is. Ah, screw it. What's the worst that happened? I didn't realize that all of my pets would also try to escape. Oh no, a carcass. Wait, why are carcasses decomposing? They shouldn't be decomposing. Actually, rush that. Get all the villagers, really. What's Joanna supposed to be doing? Joanna's a hauler and smith and miner. I don't have mining property. I'm a... 
means she can start planting. Oh, we actually don't need to have more planting today. Are, are all these trees in? Huh. They are. Alright, well, you can all build then. John. Oh, all of our hay decom. Oh god, it's okay. Actually, no, we do have time. Even hay decomposes on the trows. That is rough. Are we gonna have enough animal feed to get through the winter? Why, cat the cat, do you always do this? With the power of teamwork and also hundreds of wood, our bedrooms are gonna go. Merchant Caravan! What do y'all think is gonna happen here? Like, cause like, obviously, you know, there's a lot of them. So if they decide to get hostile, that might be an issue. Oh, well, actually, I don't have enough hay for this. Uh, we're gonna deconstruct some of you. Idle settlers. Johnson. Wait, why aren't you raiding? You're not raiding because someone else took your pig? This is a lot- oh, this is a lot of merchants. Oh. Uh. Huh. You know, I think these guys might be safe. I think these guys might not attack us. I've got a good feeling about them. I've got a really good feeling about these merchants. So let's see what they've got. Please, Johnson? Jonathan? That one? God, oh my god, this hurts. I like apples. I don't know if I like them enough to spend 500 gold on them. A cartography table is 3,600. Now these merchants charge an arm and a leg, and I'm not sure that I can afford it. 7,000. Honestly, this is just like window shopping. There's no chance that I afford any of this.
Why does Cat the Cat... Oh! You know why she keeps coming here? Wait, no, because there's a roof spot here. What the heck, Cat the Cat? Alright, can we finish this building, please? I'm actually getting pretty worried. I wanted to have all this done by, like, today so that I can put the tailoring bench in here. It was settlers. Mining? I just did not give John enough to do, it looks like. Oh, wait, no, John was one of the new ones. Um, Instructure. Okay, relocate you. Right, that's a bedroom? Yeah, okay, cool. In which case, I can do and put in the tailoring, or the sewing station, that one. Honestly, there have been a lot of, uh, at, um, there's just been a lot of spam and all lately. Like, even in comments, actually, my comment sections for my videos haven't been bad lately. When I was, like, first starting, I would get, like, two to three comments every single video, like, you know, with just obnoxious spam. But it's gotten a lot better. There's the six bedroom. Doing okay for meals. We need to hunt more. Oh, we need to hunt a lot more. So much more, Jesus. Okay, actually, I mean, the first berries are gonna be here. That's good. I do think that, unfortunately, oh my God, why do I do this to <laughs> myself? I think that small dog might not be long for this world. Because wolves are, like, I'm not training a wolf anytime soon. So, uh, you know, next, tomorrow, we don't really have an out back for the, for small dog, dude. Huh. Oh, I need to be making interclub. Got plenty of sticks, yeah. I've actually got two sets, so actually we should be okay. Wait, who's our tailor? Nine. Alright, what's next? Preserving food will be nice when we actually have enough food for it to be an issue. Beekeeping and fermenting would both be nice. Which would require research too. Alright, you go Rebel John. Come on, dog the cat. Why are you out there? Okay, today's a hunting day. Um, John, you grab a spear. Johnson, you keep writing. John's gonna go hunt at least. Animals, wildlife. Of course, it's on the far side of the map, but whatever.
Oh, that's the really far side of the map. Let me see if I can find something closer. Or... No. Okay, fine. Wait, why do we have so many idle villagers? Um, okay. What else, what's next? Okay, well actually we can start mining this clay. That'll help some. Grand is a miner, right? Yes. Joe. Gonna equip a bow. And Joe's gonna hunt. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I, I was expecting research to be slow, but this still feels horrible for research at least. Like the other stuff doesn't feel that bad, but one of the main reasons for that is that motor function affects most tasks, but not actually research. So the global work speed is 14%. So this guy researches at basically one seventh the speed of a regular researcher. So actually, I think I'm gonna. Oh, I need wood. Someone keeps bot or keeps using all my wood for stuff. And we're gonna put in a second. Uh, A second research table. That's a good idea. I need to have done. I should have done that a while ago, actually. The J boys. The J stands for justice. Uh, you're gonna go hunt one more time. Where are you? Ah, no you're not. You'll rebel. Why are they mining it from up here? Put in a clay staircase here. Who's a builder? Really? He's gonna run all the way back around to the top to build it? Hey! Dog the cat! Right? That's another hauler. Dog the cat is finally around. Um, well, you know, we're not going to kill small dog. Small dog gets to live, but, but we are going to release them. So we're not responsible. Yeah, this entire time he's been working on this for an entire day and he's not even Fully done with one outfit. How are you deprived of religion? There's religion right there. Oh. Oh, rebellion. You're so silly.
Wait, what time is it there? Friend? And we have a trained cat now. Wait, the cat can haul? No, sorry, that's a dog. Never mind. I got baited by my own names. <laughs> Let's watch this go up. Hours tick by. Actually, you know, he's getting like four or five percent an hour. That's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Right, I could unlock some stuff. Maybe I just pull the trigger on decorative structures. I don't know. I feel like it's not worth. That sucks. I am so sorry, friend. Go fast. Oh, that's interesting. If you tell them to stop training for a second, they will stop. They will, like, fail it. My upstairs neighbors used to be like that cat, where they were just very, uh, very loud. Oh nice, we finally finished one outfit. Time for a second. Oh wow, winter clothes only- Oh. 57 hit points. That thing was only gonna last 10 days. Oh, and we get a random attack. Oh, this attack's gonna be rough. Oh no, this might be it. They're at least really far away, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Deconstruct. Unfortunately, we just made that. Let's have everyone equip ranged weapons. Ranged. Ranged. Handed melee. Uh... Armor, all armor, all armor. Helmet, helmet. Jonathan is very casual about his full-time researcher in full plate gear. Johnson is not cold in that, unsurprisingly. Where are the raiders? Raiders are like halfway here. Wait, got the dog, what are you doing? Alright, cat the dog. You're gonna help, uh, Johnson. I don't want you actually running out here. Let's see, you need armor. You're good, Johnson. You're good. Now we'll say you... Moment. And you can get here. Okay. Johnson, come out here. Nope, John, you're not running out there. You coming to defend the village? Y'all come up here. Jonathan, you come here. No, big dog. Big dog, what are you doing? Big dog, no. Big dog, hold on. Big dog. Big dog.
All right, big dog, please come back here. Oh, I thought they were going for the animals. Like, cat the dog, what are you doing? Oh, wait. Uh, no, you are not helping with battle. No, wait. Okay, good. Do not attack cat the dog. Do not risk it. You are not allowed to be attacked. Wait, we're really out of range? Bows, war bow, okay. This is a lot of enemies. Archers are going down. Their melee fighters don't want a piece of- Nope, 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 nope. Do not advance. Walls are safe and we like the wall. John, do you want to help? John? 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 No, John doesn't want to help. Okay, there we go. Oh, actually, I didn't even realize this, but- Oh, they can attack back there. taking some hits oh, last archer okay oh this door is closed who closed this door Oh, the door's down. Um, oh, uh, this is not great. This is not ideal. This is not ideal. He's not escaping this. What are you doing? You're not fleeing here. What, why are you why are you running up? Don't run up. I got Jonathan. No, and I got Johnson? Oh, this is not ending well. Please. No. Okay, so I needed more more doors, I guess. Oh, that is No fuck. I mean darn. Yeah, I guess I needed more doors. I was under 
I didn't respect that with double hit points, that was basically the equivalent of like a 6 on 30 something raid. And it just took us too long to kill everything. Alright. I think that is going to be where we called it then. Um, unfortunate. So this has been fun though. I actually really like the rotting and everything. The global work speed is a pain though. Um, I think what I'm, I'll, I'll play around with it. I think what I'm going to do is do slider hell, but without the global work speed because it just reduces the fun of it in a lot of ways because the global work speed is so low. This is, this is my three month village. I was hoping we could make this work. And honestly, I think you can. I think this is definitely possible. But uh, I want a full village, and building it at this speed would take 8,000 years. So, we'll see. Um, Yeah. This has been super fun. Thank you all for joining me. It's going to take me a while to make a full video on this. I'm not expecting at least a couple weeks. So, uh... I may not post anything until then, or if I do, it'll probably be something kind of short, like just checking out another game, like I did with Lords and Villains recently, which was a really fun game. The video didn't do well, but the game itself was fun. Uh, I'll hang around to chat, but yeah, that's uh, gonna be it for the stream itself, unfortunately. Don't worry, the Jays will return in the video. I'll just delete this one. No one will ever know. <laughs> all right well this has been fun that is very unfortunate crossbird because uh turn off the screen just listen everything went great everything is fine there's nothing bad happening don't worry about it <laughs> all right take care everyone have a good